Yes, Steve, it's, it's pretty shocking. It, it, this is a story that is one of the most uh, troubling stories that you haven't heard of, meaning the average American hasn't heard of. You've got a member of parliament in Finland who literally just tweeted out a Bible verse, scripture from the book of Romans, from the Bible, uh, talking about the issue of uh, LGBTQ type issues in Finland. And now she's facing charges, facing two years of jail time. A bishop uh, then echoed that sentiment, and this bishop is similarly facing up to two years of jail time. Now, people can disagree about issues, right. but if you're talking about putting people in jail for quoting the Bible, and then the prosecutor said that the Bible can't, quote, Trump finish law, the prosecutor said, don't worry, you can keep your Bibles, but you know what, you just can't say you agree with it. That this is a really <laughs> chilling reality in a Western civilization country. This isn't Iran. This isn't China. This is Finland. And the American people need to know this is coming to a theater near you. And it's coming to you in the form of the Equality Act, which is why I opposed it, because that would similarly start to criminalize the way that we approach our disagreements on issues when they're based on our faith. And I know Tony uh, has spoken eloquently about this before. And, and Tony, you say the Bible essentially is on trial. It is. Uh, Steve, faith is at the stake. The Bible is on trial. The outcome of Pave and Johanna's case could literally criminalize the Christian faith and free speech. Now, this case, as uh, Chip said, is a warning to the Western world that, quite frankly, has been asleep in the pew. And this is not about some theologically remote part of Scripture. The prosecution, as you played in the intro of this, made clear that this is about the heart of the gospel, the use of the word sin, they said can be harmful and therefore illegal. And this, of course, is the core teaching of the gospel that we're all sinners and we need a savior, and that savior is Jesus Christ. And Tony, can you imagine if uh, these people are convicted for simply citing the Bible? It's chilling. It is absolutely chilling, and I think it's a harbinger of things to come if we don't stop this nonsense, this uh, ideological drive to purge any form of really the foundation of Western civilization, which is Christianity. Sure. Uh, Chip, I'll give you the final word. Yeah, Steve, look, I mean, you know, uh, Holocaust survivors uh, teach us a lot. And Ellie Weasel said that the worst crime that was committed leading up to the Holocaust was silence. We cannot be silent in the face of this. And God bless Pivey, God bless uh, Bishop, Bishop Poyola for standing up for their freedoms. Guess what? The prosecutors offered them a deal. Walk away from what you said. Walk away from your faith. Walk away from your Christian faith and recant what you said, and we won't prosecute you. They didn't do it because they're standing up for their beliefs. Americans, this is coming to you. Let's stand with these these brave uh, Finnish patriots and, and, uh, and make sure that we're fighting for our religious liberty. Congressman, Tony, thank you very much for bringing this to our attention. Important story. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. All right. uh,